a very good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening, depends on where you're watching from. My name is Moses, and welcome to the newspaper review for the 7th of August, 2023, on Prime Media Studios. My name is Moses once again. Um, quickly, we'll be going over to the Vanguard this morning. The Vanguard newspaper top story says consumer goods manufacturers borrow 1.8 trillion naira to survive in high 23. Consumer goods manufacturers borrow 1.8 trillion naira to survive in high 23. We're going to take some, some, some of that story of that headline. That consumer goods manufacturers borrow 1.8 trillion naira to survive in high 2023. At the backdrop of rising interest rates and foreign exchange scarcity, leading consumer goods manufacturing companies have come under severe funding pressure. You know, financial vanguard findings from the financial statements of the companies show that they have restored, resorted rather to very expensive bank borrowing to sustain their businesses, increasing their exposure to the banks um, to 1.834 trillion naira in the first half of the year 2023. H1 2023, a 24.5% increase against 1.473 trillion naira in the corresponding period of 2022, high 2022. Data obtained from 11 leading companies listed on the Nigerian Exchange Limited NGX revealed that the finance cost from the borrowing rose astronomically by 411.2% to 330.972 naira billion in high 2023 from 64.745 billion in high 2022. The rising finance cost is majorly driven by the steady increases in monetary policy rate. NPR by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, which hits 18.75% as at last month. That is the update for the consumer goods manufacturers. And um, the five top five borrowers are Nestle, Guinness, Nigerian Breweries PLC, and we also have international breweries and Unilever. Those are the top five borrowers for this Yes, consumer goods manufacturers. In news following that, at the top left of um, the Vanguard says, Catholic bishops, JNI, any others say no to military intervention. Catholic bishop, JNI, AANI, others say no to military intervention. That is from the Catholic bishops of Nigeria and a news following that says NGE old Latif Jaconde annual memorial lecture annual memorial lecture for um, Latif Jaconde a former governor of Lagos State other news following that says Niger Junta shot airspace over military intervention threat Niger Junta shot airspace over military intervention threat. And also, Fashla denies drafting judgment for PEPT calls for action against peddlers of fake news. And if you want to get more details on the Vanguard, just visit their online store or their physical store nationwide to get these details. Let's move on to channels. The top story says that top story on sports on penalty England zero and Nigeria zero. That is for the England are down to 10 players and Nigeria are pushing for Africa's first knockout win in the history of the competition. End of the road for impressive Super Falcons lose on penalties to England. You know, Nigeria's forward, nine desire Okpara Nozie takes a shot during a penalty shootout during the Australia and New Zealand 2023 Women's World Cup rounds of 16 football match between England and Nigeria 
at Brisbane Stadium in Brisbane on August 7th, 2023. Nigerian Super Falcons were the much better side on the night in Brisbane, but England maintained their composure to go through on penalties, winning four to two to seal their sport in the last eight. The Lioness came out tops in Group D, while Nigeria were second in Group B. Both sides have only met twice in the competition with England, winning three to two not. Um, the news following that says, Arawa youth are school leaders to commence transitional government talks. Arawa youths are school leaders to commence transitional government talks. And government abducts Nasarawa first class chief and wife. Gunmen abducts abduct Nasarawa first class chief and wife. Niger closes airspace citing threat of intervention. Niger closes airspace citing threats of intervention. Other news will be read in the news in detail. That is for channels. And let's move on to punch this morning. The top story there says it's on cool. Tinubu meets governors sharing boundaries with Niger. Tinubu meets governors sharing boundary with Niger. President Bola Tinubu on Sunday played host to governors of states that share boundaries with Niger Republic. It was gathered, the meeting held at the State House Abuja, which was part of consultations by the president on the situation in Niger. The governors in attendance were Ahmed Aliyu, Sokoto's governor, Umar Namadi, Jigawa governor, Mai Malambune, Yopi's governor, Idris Nasser, Kebis governor, and Dr. Diko Rada, Katina governor. The Northern elite have kicked against the planned onslaught against the military junta in Niger while citing the likely consequence of such action on Nigeria such action on Nigeria. A news flowing that says, Italy seeks extension of ECOWAS deadline. Italy seeks extension of ECOWAS deadline. Ganduji ready to welcome Kwan Kwaso to APC. Meet Ayim in Abuja. Ganduji ready to welcome Kwan Kwaso to APC. Meet Ayim in Abuja. Nigeria run England to extra time after James' red card. Nigeria run England to extra time after James's red card. Gunmen kidnap Monarch and wife in Nasarawa State. Gunmen kidnaps Monarch and wife in Nasarawa State. Enigo to ban unauthorized use of tinted glass vehicles in September. Enigo to ban unauthorized use of tinted glass vehicles from September. Other news flowing it says Atiku has filed case against Tinubu in USAID. Atiku has filed case against Tinubu in USAID. ECOWAS leaders meet as seven day ultimatum ends. ECOWAS leaders meet as seven day ultimatum ends. That's that on the Punch newspaper this morning. We're not moving to the nation. Top story there says. ECOWAS and AU leaders meet over adamant Niger Junta. ECOWAS and AU leaders meet on adamant Niger Junta. The Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS and African Union leaders were locked in a meeting yesterday as the deadline set by the regional bloc for the Niger Junta to return President Mohamed Bazoum to power expired yesterday. The meeting was virtual. The communique of the meeting was not released as at 1, 11 p.m. press time. In attendance were governors Ahmed Aliyu, Sokoto Omar Namadi, and all others of the, 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 the Nigerian state. ECOWAS leaders will this week convene a meeting in Abuja after their virtual meeting to make a crucial decision on the ultimatum the nation says. And it's following that says foreign reserves to return growth. Foreign reserves return to growth. Federal government states open talks on minimum wage 
review. Federal government, states, and fed and states open talks on minimum wage review. Obaseki, why I won't sack Shaibu to succeed me? Oh, sorry about that. Why I won't back Shaibu to succeed me? Why I won't back Shaibu to succeed me? On Soludu, Southeast winning battle against Sitatom and Fosas, says Soludu. Southeast winning battle against Sitatom and Fosas, says Soludo. That is that on nation. Now let's move on to daily trust this morning. On the top story, Niger Coupist Adamant as deadline ends. Niger Coupist Adamant as deadline ends. A news following that says FG paid 36 billion naira for electricity subsidy in three months. FG paid 36 billion naira for electricity subsidy in three months, says NERC NEC. Nine, on Nigeria Daily, how ministerial change in Kano sparked reactions in other states? How ministerial change in Kano sparked reactions in other states? Other news flowing that says confusion as FCDA demolishes popular Abuja building material market. Confusion as FCDA demolishes popular Abuja building material market. Enugu government bans unauthorized use of vehicles with tinted glass. That was seen in the Punch newspaper. Presidential amnesty threatens to sue the famous. Presidential amnesty threatens to sue the famous. Brain drain. Nigeria needs local production of lab to says NPTE. And that is that on the Daily Trust. Now on to Daily Sun newspaper for the 7th of August, 2023. The top story there says confusion, pain in hospitals over doctor strike. Confusion and pain in hospitals over doctor's strike. Recall that um, doctors, few days back, doctors went on strike following the death of their colleague and uh, the, the increment of their, of their pay. So they have gone on strike until um, the perpetrators are brought to book. Let us take a quick story in, on the screen for that. Patients who patronize public health care facilities in Nigeria are passing through a in period due to absence of resident doctors who had embarked on indefinite strike over what they describe as unfair labor treatment. The doctors under the ages of National Association of Resident Doctors, NAD, who constitute a larger percentage of doctors in public health care facilities, withdrew their services to two weeks ago in response to inability of government to meet their needs, which mostly bordered on improved salary package and other working conditions. As a result, skeletal services are being provided for patients in various public hospitals in Abuja and other parts of the country as only consulting, consultant doctors offer services in the hospitals. That is that on the strike over the um, doctors. Now, all other says NSCD, NSCDC boss vows to prioritize personnel training. More tough decisions to come from APC government. Adebayo tells Nigerians, Araruame, NMPC take legal battle to court of appeal. FX scarcity, students, businesses grown as banks struggle to make demand for PTA and PTA. Ibituni Oludayos, it has happened again, receives multiple nominations at Toronto International Nollywood Film Festival. And that is that on the Municipal Review for the 7th of August, 2023. Join us in the next hour for the big story. My name is Moses and thanks for staying with us. Have a blessed day.